Hey guys, Jim Nix from nomadicpursuits.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to take a photo that's green like this one and turn it into a, something that looks like it was taken in the fall. Uh, I'm using Luminar uh, which is the new app for Mac Fun and it's crazy awesome. Uh, I did a similar tip in Aurora HDR 2017 for Mac Fun a few weeks back. You may have seen that. This is really the exact same thing, just doing it in Luminar. So let me show you. There's two ways. There's two things I should say that you do. Just add filter. Just get foliage enhancer, and then get HSL or hue saturation and luminance. So most people take foliage enhancer and drag it to the right and bump up the amount, and they say, "Wow, look how green it is," uh, and that's great. If you want to have a really green shot, that's what you do, right? I don't want a green shot. I want an orange shot. So if you take the uh, foliage enhancer hue all the way to the left, it starts getting kind of yellow. And that's where HSL comes in. When you get an HSL, get in the H or the hue panel, and then take your yellow and your green to the left, and just drag them as far as you want, and look at that, all of a sudden you've got a, a rich fall scene. Now there's some green still in here. You can change your saturation levels if you like, and just kind of create all kind of interesting and fun kind of, um, almost like kind of dreamy sort of looks. I might would come in here and add a little image radiance and just bump up the dreaminess a little bit, something like that. And, uh, you know, what's this been? A couple of minutes. I took this, which was a path in a, uh, a park in, uh, in Portland at the Japanese Gardens, and turned it into like a dreamy fall image, almost otherworldly. That's probably a little orange for reality, but hey, man, we're having fun, right? So uh, that's how it works. Super easy and quick. I'll do it on another image, another one taken in the same, um, same place, a... Uh, a little bit later that day. There you go. So here we go. I'm going to hide those two just to get them out of the way. I'm going to go get Foliage Enhancer and HSL and Foliage to the left to bump up the amount and then make sure you're on Hue and just take your orange and your yellow and your green as far as you want to go to the left and if you want to adjust the saturation you can do so. You don't have to add, add any image radiance. Maybe you add Orton instead. Maybe you add nothing. Maybe you like it like that. But, I mean, look at that. That's super freaking cool, I think. And there you go. It was a bright, uh, it was August, I think. It was a few years ago. Sunny day, bright, right? You're in the park. You take a shot. It's really green. It's pretty, but there's nothing really unique about it. And boom, there you go. You have that. That's pretty unique. Eh, it's kind of fake, but I don't really care. I'm just having fun, right? So you could take the saturation down if you wanted and reduce that. Make it maybe not quite so over the top. That's really awesome looking, I think. I just think it's gorgeous. So that's it. That's how it works. There's one more before and after. I mean, I just I can't get over. It's so awesome. It's so much fun. I do this all the time. I just love it. But that's it. Just a couple of quick sliders. Use Foliage Enhancer. Go to the left. And then make sure you get in the Hue panel in HSL. And especially your yellows and greens. You don't have to move orange as far. I can show you. Right? Not as big of an impact. But the yellow and green for sure. Do that to the left. And then adjust your saturation or luminance if you want. Add more filters. But you can create a fall photo out of anything, really. And that's how it works, friends. Quick and easy and a lot of fun. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time. Adios.